How's it going, everybody? My name is Daniel from Hazardous Entertainment, and welcome to a special episode of Build the Earth. I guess this is an episode of Build the Earth. Uh, this is a showcase of a place that I was working on a long time before I ever joined Build the Earth. A long time before Build the Earth was even a thing, really. It was, it was just kind of this idea um, at the time. Probably not even an idea, maybe. But I wanted to show you a place that I had been working on since I was about 15 years old. Uh, and that is the little humble city of Night Vale. Now, Night Vale is a creative world that I worked on from like late mid high school all the way through college, basically. Um, I still work on it every now and then, but now most of my time is taken up by Build the Earth stuff. And this started out, if you've watched my old Minecraft videos uh, video, <laughs> you'll know that there was like a single player world that is actually a world file that I downloaded from that server before it got shut down. And then I just started adding on in creative mode with myself and some of my friends. And this was basically anything that I wanted to build. So it's a pretty massively sprawling place, as you can see here. But the reason I want to show it today in something that has the name Build the Earth on it is because this was kind of the humble beginnings for my journey into Build the Earth uh, Minecraft because I was doing a lot of stuff that we do in Build the Earth now, which was recreating real life structures that I saw in my everyday, starting with this one right here. So this is one of my very first uh, recreations of a real life building in Minecraft. This is PDQ, which is a chicken restaurant that's located in Winston-Salem. I think there's a few that kind of go up and down the east coast of America. And this was my very first attempt at trying to really capture something from real life in Minecraft. And I feel like I did a pretty good job with it. Now, the first thing you might notice with this is that it does have some texture differentiations. This color right here does not exist. Um, and neither does this lime in these slabs uh, and things like that. So this is all kind of a fabrication um, just to get this one building, uh, get its color palette correct. Uh, but that would end up holding over into a lot of these other buildings because I like these uh, these blocks. I liked being able to have a slab or a staircase that was red like this. And let me show you really quickly the inside to show you what level of detail I truly went to uh, when working on this project. So you can see I really went to town and if you've ever seen this place in real life you would know that I have pretty much gotten it to as close to accurate as I could I've even gotten the mats in the right place and there's a kitty cat somewhere but uh, we're not gonna worry about that even the kitchen back here literally everything is exactly as I remember it being um, now in order to do that this is actually too big for build the earth scale if i went and tried to build this place in uh build the earth it would probably be not at this perfect angle as we can expect to see here um but it would also probably be a lot smaller and a lot less room for detail this is actually built at i believe it's at a full-on two one scale so every two blocks is actually one meter rather than uh, one block to one meter or maybe it's 1.5 it's one of those two but it's definitely larger than it's supposed to be but it gives you that ability to get a lot more detail in that you can't get in a lot of build the earth structures and i'm really fond of this build i added like a a, a you know a drive through port here so you can actually drive around within the confines of this pre-established grid system that we designed with uh you know night veil vale. now not all of night veil vale is a recreation of real life structures some of them are just survival builds like everything right here is just you know stuff we made up but as you get further out to the outskirts of the city you'll notice a lot more recreation of real world buildings because i got more into that as i got older um this one is kind of a fun example it's an arby's i don't think this is true to any specific arby's but it was the idea being that it's a real life place that is represented in minecraft and we see we have this giant giant Arby sign here, which I'm still very proud of to this day. I think it's a really well detailed sign. Look at that. Look how much detail we're getting out of this. It's, it's big. It's oversized for the city, but you know what? It's a landmark. It's a landmark in the city. Just next door to PDQ also is this Chick-fil-A that I designed. Uh, I think it was supposed to be like in competition with the PDQ because they're both chicken based restaurants. Um, and I remember that when I, I used to work at a PDQ and I remember that it was uh, a big talking point was, you know, Oh, we're in direct competition with Chick-fil-A and uh, what can we do better than Chick-fil-A? That sort of thing. And, and this is a representation of uh, Chick-fil-A that's also local to Winston-Salem. Uh, I don't think this one is as accurate as the PDQ is. Um, I think I did. I think I, sh yeah, I cut off, I think, 
back here. There's supposed to be more building going on in the kitchen, but I didn't have enough space for it at the angle that I wanted to. And as this villager just walked in here, yeah, a little less detailed. I spent less time in here. I just wanted to get the idea of it across. But what I am super proud of is the play area. If you've been to a Chick-fil-A that hasn't been like refurbished or anything, you probably have seen this giant play set back here. And uh, yeah, I represented it this shoe cubbies the best I can. Um, and then one thing I noticed that was cool when I was working on this the other day, uh, if you take a trap door, if you force yourself into a one block hole, so as you can see here, you can actually crawl in if you play with the uh, the trap door glitch enough. Yeah, and so you can just play in the place. And I think you can also get into the main part of the structure as well doing this, but we're not going to get into there right now because it's just, it's just too much. I just wanted to show that off. All of these buildings over here, I'm not going to go into each of these in depth, but all of these over here are real life structures. That's like a burger shop. This is a mattress firm that's uh, off of a place called Haynes Mall Boulevard. Um, and this area right here is the first thing I want to show you how big we would get with some of these recreations. So we would do an entire shopping center right here. So this is like a giant Lowe's Foods shopping center that I did. And I think it's still at that incorrect scale. I still think it's at one and one fifth scale, you know, 1.5 scale, I think. Um, and <laughs> the Dick Spa. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Don't worry about a lot of these inside jokes club. It got a little crazy having a lot of people joining the server, but we filled in, I think this is mostly by hand as well this entire parking lot. I think it's pretty much exclusively by hand, this whole parking lot with, with some auto clickers, I think, but um, some of it never got finished. There was some some stuff over here that we never finished, um, but that's the beauty of it. You could always come back and finish it one day. And as you might notice over here, I actually forgot about this. I've been looking down at the ground and I haven't noticed this. This is my very first attempt at Winston Tower. So you know the Winston Tower that's in Build the Earth right now. It's big, it's bold, and it kind of looks like this. Now this is a much smaller version of it. I actually think it's too wide and not tall enough. Maybe, I don't know how the scaling works, but this was my very first attempt at doing so. We never finished it because again, we weren't using World Edit, we were just using our hands. Um, and I think, I, look at that, it's interesting, I used glass. No, I didn't use glass, I used, yeah, I used ice instead of glass here, but I did still use this kind of thin layer of concrete or terracotta there to represent uh, the floor levels. And I even got this upper detail where, or at least it looks like I started getting it because it looks like I definitely didn't finish it over here. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely don't look at the building from this backside over here. It's it's not a good time over here. There is a big thing I want to show you off uh, that way, but I'm not going to show it to you yet because there's one more thing I want to show off before we get over to the coup de gras, as it were. So over here, as it loads very, very slowly in the distance here, you can see this large structure, and you're probably like, what in the world is this? It's a giant hotel of some sort? Well, yes, so this was the idea was an expansion of Night Vale that would lead to a coastline. Now it would be a 45 degree diagonal coastline that would cut all the way across here, but it would allow you to have a lot of beachside, beachfront properties. And the first one on my list was this. This is a place known as the Beach Cove Resort. Uh, it exists in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Uh, and I go there a lot. I used to go there, you know, uh, on vacation and it's, it's a very fun place. And so I made it my mission on certain trips there that I would get photography uh, of things you know I would just use photos that I took while I was on my my vacations to make sure I got an accurate um, layout of how this place looked and a lot of this was just sculpted by hand no no real measurements no real Google Earth data or anything a lot of this is just how it looks from Street View and me kind of interpreting that as I will all these pools are dug by hand now 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 a lot of these rooms a lot of these are done by hand but most of them i think of after a while i got world edit in here and i, I decided to go uh go strong with it uh these last two it's actually a different room so i never finished those it's like a double wide room and same thing over here as you can see i had to build at a 45 degree angle here and this was my first introduction into building at that incorrect you know system we're not building with the minecraft grid system anymore we're building at an angle and this is actually not accurate either if i was building this for real uh, where these are at this you know degree right here it wouldn't be a perfect 45 it would be a little bit off i did that measurement one time after i got into build the earth uh, and understood angles better and so i could technically tear all this down and try to build at the angles but you know, this is kind of a good testament to, to me honing some of those skills that I would develop later when doing Build the Earth. I do want to show you the inside because I did, I 
did some pretty detailed stuff, especially in the main lobby here. And if you go here in real life, you would see that I pretty much nailed a lot of this stuff. There's a there's a bar over here that I have yet to finish. It's just kind of void space and and the main bar area way over there. Let's, let's get a close up on that because it's actually more detailed than I remember. It's nice. It's it's very nice. But there's an arcade and stuff that I haven't represented, and obviously it just falls off into nothingness after a while. Oh man, look at that roof. That is a intense roof to have done. My God. Um, yeah, you can come down here. And there's this long hallway with uh, did I do a breakfast area? I know there's a breakfast corner. Yeah, I actually. Oh my God. I don't even remember what I did. So I, it's it's a shock to me to see how much detail I went into. I don't remember having finished this area, but yeah, it's a little uh breakfast area you can get your food from apparently backwards skeleton skulls it's it's not too far off could you fill these with like beef and stuff yeah you could it's <laughs> you could fill it with your favorite breakfast food items if you wanted to i remember when they introduced terracotta and your glazed terracotta i was so happy because i was like immediately most of those designs look like, like hotel hallways and so i started using Oh, what did I do here? I just gave up on the pattern after a while. Maybe I was going to go back in and, and fix up the pattern. But uh, yeah, I loved getting these introduced. I was like, that's just perfect for a hotel hallway. But yeah, this was a fun uh, journey into, you know, understanding those those incorrect angles and also interior and exterior detail. Those are inner tubes over there stacked up in this whole area. Man, I got to come back and finish this project. But it's like, oh, I have so many Minecraft projects that I, I get into and Buildio takes up so much time. Uh, from that section, you know, of, of my, you know, the time I allow for Minecraft in a day, uh, that's all taken up by Build the Earth, basically. Look at this side. Even this side's not looking too shabby. I was giving some detail. God, was I trying to do parking lots and, like, the, oh, 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 oh the under area here? That's interesting, because this is such, like, a unseen area. I think I got all this from my specific photography that I did uh, of this area. I don't even know what all these doors are. What are these doors? Office space? Is this like, is this like where they, uh, they bring, you know, business meetings and stuff like that is in the lower area? It must be, but, uh, yeah, I, I may continue this at some point. You might see an update on this at some point in the future, but, uh, for now it's kind of a, a null project and maybe I'll bring it into Build the Earth. Maybe I'll actually finish the one in Build the Earth. It'll have less detail and that'll be unfortunate, but you know how it is. Okay, so before we go today, I want to show you the big inspiration, the thing that led me to build the Earth. And that is my very first attempt at building Winston-Salem in Minecraft. And we're about to fly over there. If we follow this line that you see here, eventually, pretty soon, we're going to get to Winston-Salem. Behold, everyone, as it existed at the time, I present to you Winston-Salem. This is my very first project. Uh, I, I think it was February or January of, of 2020. I, I decided I was like, I want to build like a full, like what? how big is a realistic city? I wanted to get the idea of how big a realistic city was to scale in Minecraft. And so I started, this was actually over there near the Winston Tower. And I just copied it and pasted it over here. Or maybe I cut it out, but I pasted it over here and I just began from this tower, which I built back in like 2016, 2017. I built all of this out from that by hand without much Google Earth help. I mean, I was using Google Earth, but I didn't know about I couldn't use the TPLL command. All I could use was meters, like measuring distance in meters and seeing how much space I need. So how wide was the road going to be? How much space was this area going to take up? What was the difference between this corner and this corner? It was all like this thought process that I had in my head of just what is this supposed to look like? And I would just start from nothing, nothing under here. This whole thing is hollow. I want to get a bottom side view of this because it's probably really impressive to look at. Over there it's solid, but over here it is certainly not. So maybe I use that as like a foundation point. But yeah, all of this was built, built up with world edit. So pseudo by hand, but pretty much like anything you see where there's a lot of detail under here is all done by hand. All of that. You recognize this. This is from Build the Earth. We, we've seen this. We've built the tip of this tower. You know, I've shown off this building numerous times, but look at how much I gave. I finished off this section. This is going to be hell to do in Build the Earth. Let me explain that to you. Um, and all of this was done up. Um, I even had a map down here. And I was using map art. Oh my god, I was using map art. This is my first diving into, like, how to do, like, details like map art in this. Oh my god, what? I am insane. Here was a map overview of everything. And I was, it looks like I was just going, like, because the downtown area was pretty much a straight grid. I was just, you know, okay, this, this is a straight line. And I still wasn't fully comfortable figuring out exact angles. But, I mean, to be fair, without the computer 
if we built the earth, none of us would be able to figure out those angles. Uh, even over here, I was working on a parking garage where everything, all the layers are sloped. And it looks like I was planning to, if I recall correctly, make sure that every layer was elevationally correct. So like, you know, as you go up a, a parking garage, you're, you're sloping upwards slowly. And so I was going to go inside, I think, maybe I did, and actually get measurements, elevation measurements uh, of this parking garage. Oh my God, how do I get out of here? <laughs> and I remember over here, this is when I had to make a change. I decided I couldn't continue building this project in the way that I was. I could have some leniency on the X and Z axis, but on the Y axis, I had to make sure that everything was proper because things wouldn't add up. Like over here, if this area was too short and then I measured up, Okay, it's four blocks elevation. And then over here, it's, oh, well, it's actually only a difference of three. Well, something's clearly wrong. Either this road is too short or something's gone wrong. And you can see all these crazy lines that I was uh, getting here just based on going out. Because I didn't realize there was a way you could see elevation on Google Earth. I was going out physically with my friend Ben sometimes. And we would just get real photos and real elevation measurements uh, to be able to figure out the slam. And this is when I realized, like, it's too much. It's There's too much elevation changes as we go this way and that way. I can't continue to do it this way. I have to find some way to get, like, a mesh terrain of the whole thing to build a top. Um, and that's when I moved into uh, another project that actually preceded Build the Earth again. But I'll get into that in a different video. I'll probably make another video on the pre-pre. This is, like, the pre-pre Build the Earth. There is a pre-Build the Earth uh, map that I worked on. But I just wanted to show all this off because, man, how did I have so much time in the day? I was still in, in college. How did I have so much time to do all of this? I struggle right now to get, you know, something built up weekly or even monthly at this point because it's it's just getting my life becomes very hectic and I have a job and all this stuff. But but you know what? It's it's really cool. I want to see. Ooh, can we look in detail. I think I did. Yeah, I definitely did some interior detail here. Now, this is a big no, no in uh, in regular build the earth. So I'm going to break in here real fast. Just repair that. Is there a ledger nearby? I found the layout of this office space. So most of the floors in the Wachovia building or the Wells Fargo building or 100 North Main or Penis Tower, uh, they all look similar to this. This is based on how they actually look. It's a lot of uh, outward facing office spaces, uh, single offices, double offices. Uh, but yeah, all of these are just repeats from, I think there's minor changes too. I think I went in and even changed a few things from floor to floor just to make it not like exactly the same. Um, but then you get out of this like midsection here and then the floor plan changes and I don't have reference for that. And it's a big no-no in Build the Earth, but we're not in Build the Earth, so we can do whatever we want. This is, uh, this is Night Vale. But, oh my God, it's just so sprawling and strange. And I just wanted to take a moment to, to show you guys, you know, where I start from and like what inspired me to get into Build the Earth. And, and this has always been something that I've had in my head is like this, this desire to recreate real world structures in this block game. And I think it comes back to like when I played with Legos as a kid. I'm glad Build the Earth is here to really, you know, kind of almost reinforce or I guess validate that that feeling that I've had, that, that desire to do this. And again, there's there's a few other things that came before Build the Earth that I want to do other videos on, and I'll do videos on those soon enough. Um, but for now, I think that's going to do it for this week. Just want to do a smaller video this week while I'm getting really busy. I'm trying to preload a lot of videos. So, But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this whole video. Remember to like and subscribe and also hit that bell so you can be updated every time there's a new video coming out. But as always, my name is Daniel, and I will see you guys next time.